Hey, over to you. All right, thanks a lot, Francesca. Looking good right there. All right, it's one of the most popular sports in all the world. Yep, I'm talking about soccer. And for the players, it can be pretty difficult to make a score because it's not easy to get that ball into the net. Well, this week, I got a chance to learn from one of the best. Oh, yeah, a free kick. Here's the science behind making a free kick. Soccer is one of the most popular sports in the world, and one of the most exciting plays is the free kick, as players seemingly make the ball change direction in the air. Kevin Kratz of the Atlanta United is one of the best at it. There you go, yeah. Clearly not everyone can do it. So what is the science behind bending the ball, as they call it in soccer? Some guys stay straight to the ball, some guys go a little bit more to the side. I like to go more to the side, because this way I can hit up against the ball and try to give it that bend that goes over the wall, but also down again pretty quick so that it gets into the goal and not over it. It starts with the law of physics. Newton's first law of motion states that an object put into motion will move in the same force and velocity until another force acts upon it. That explains my kick. So there must be another force causing the ball to curve. You just go like this, and you're trying to hit it with this part of your foot so that you can, it will get this spin after you hit it. So spin is the key. In order to get the ball to curve to the right, left, or even down, the player must kick the ball in the right spot with the right amount of force to bend the ball toward the goal. It's known as the Magnus Effect. Air flows on both sides of the ball when kicked into the air, one side moving against the flow, creating high pressure, and the other side spinning with the flow, creating low pressure. The difference makes the ball curve toward the low pressure zone. That's only half the equation. It takes precision to make that ball go in one direction and then bend toward the goal with a goalie standing there. Too high, you miss the goal. Too low, it hits the ground before curving. Too slow, it bends too early. Too fast, bends too late. For that part, it takes good old fashioned practice. But I try to practice a lot, though, because in the, in the game, you only have one shot, basically. The same physics applies to a baseball, frisbee, and a golf ball. Now, as for me, oh. sorry, coach. <laughs> 